Понял, под моим управлением. Наблюдаю у вас 292. Hello guys, once again. Today we have a very special video on the MLD. I see a lot of people not knowing which type of weapon to use, which how to use it basically. So we are going to talk about the MLD. It's kind of a review, but I'm not going to talk about its history or any of the specific stuff of it, just more on how to use it. I mean, like a pilot-to-pilot -pilot, uh, conversation, basically. So, yeah, just a normal... Of course, uh, we're going to talk about its performance a little bit, but just a little bit, of course. It has uh, almost the same amount of climbing power of the MiG-21 Bis. So it's pretty amazing, uh, pretty fast, uh, way faster than the M uh, in acceleration. Of course, we have the R-35 engine which is one of the best engines i mean it's one of the best turbojets ever made uh one of the most efficient turbojets ever um, way ahead of its time for efficiency in a turbojet uh, so yeah pretty a pretty good engine so yeah and the turning capabilities of course are way better than the m of course we have less fuel uh being more light than the m and of course having these lets working and uh, not only on when you have the flaps down and low speeds uh, but also in dog fights and stuff and of course you have the flap the flares as you see here you have the bvp i think it's called this the 5060 um flare pod uh, which as you see you have the large flares you see the, the size of the flare. If you're hearing some dogs, I mean, I don't know what's happening in my neighborhood, but uh, maybe zombies or something. But uh, yeah, basically we have a very large amount of uh, flares with very large flares. So we have the BVP over here and the small little po uh, pod uh, with 12 flares as well. The same type of flares. Uh, underneath the aircraft as you see here so these are the russian flares that they normally used in the mig-21 mig-23 upwards so the mig-29 and stuff the Su sukhoi 27 they were pretty uh, they're more effective against american uh, i mean against uh, missiles in general so yeah pretty good flares and for the loadouts, of course, we have some type of uh, air-to-ground loadouts, but we don't care about that. Uh, we care about the air-to-air -air weapons. So we have, of course, the R60s, but we don't have the R60M, which is not the greatest, but yeah. We have the R13Ms, uh, the R3S is stock, uh, the R23s, and the R24s. Uh, so the R23s got a buff uh, of turn so they're pretty good but the the main star of this type of gameplay uh is the r24 so we have both types the r and the t i advise using the r of course the r is way better than the t because the radar is pretty good and the missile i mean has an all aspect range of i don't know 15 kilometers uh of effective range you know so yep yeah. The R24T, all aspect has only a 4.3 kilometer, even though it's kind of a stealth weapon, so it's pretty good. Uh, again, Gaijin forgot to add the mixed loadout, of course. They, I mean, what else you, did you expect? But uh, of course, uh, they had in real life, it had, it had the ability to use one R24R and one R24T, which would be the best loadout option. Uh, but you, I mean, if it's going to choose between them, I would advise you to use the radar one. Okay, so yeah, pretty good radar. As you see, uh, it has a, a radar missile, so 24G it has a five se uh, three second burn time, basically three point something. It's supposed to be three, but in game it's like 3.1 apparently. But I don't know, it's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, a very large uh, TNT equivalent, 20 kilos, and a very fast missile in general it's a little bit slower than this barrel but it burns for more time than this barrel so i think i still think this is the best missile in game because it has a tracking rate of 20 degrees compared to the sky flash and the sparrow e2 which uh, had uh i think it's like 16 degrees 
or 12 degrees i think it's 12 it's the same as the normal e but yeah this is way better missile than those missiles uh way better range as well i think normally i'm firing from like 10 to 15 kilometers and getting easy kills so uh, you can even fire to 18 kilometers and 20 kilometers uh, if the target doesn't move much you can hit the target okay but yeah let's get into the battles I mean, I'm going to show full tank, of course, and I'm going to show to you guys how to use the R24R. Because the R24T is basically just, I mean, it's easy to use, anybody can use that missile, so I'm not going to talk about it. I'll, I mean, it's a, it's the, one of the, I mean, it's the, be the best missile, IR missile in game, uh, long range wise, I mean, best sensor and stuff, but of course, the R23, R24R, <laughs> it's a little bit better. Sorry, I'm kind of uh, having some allergies right now. Uh, but I'm going to show to you guys how to use it as um, as an interceptor with the R24R because that's normally what I've been asked about it. Uh, normally, people don't know how to use them. Uh, of course, look at the video on radar guided weapons, how to use them and stuff. But yeah, basically. We don't have a pulse operator, but we don't need one. We have the MTI, but we are going to use the normal mode. Uh, climb the most that I can, uh, as quickly as I can. <laughs> so yeah, pretty good missile, pretty good radar. Let's see if I see something at 30 kilometers. There's some people. 26 kilometers I don't know man this feels too empty so yeah we have a target there I think that guy is going to shoot at him I'm not gonna shoot right now but I am in range Okay, so we have two targets there. Fox. Yeah, there's a target way closer to me, but come on, missile. Yeah, splash one. Fox two. And let's get out of here, guys. <laughs> oh, come on, F5. Fuck off. Need some help. Uh, he's too close to me. I missed the target on the Fox 2. But as you saw, the, the R24 is amazing missile. I mean, it's the best missile in game. Radar wise, it's just so amazing. You just forget about the target. He's going to die in like 9 of 10 times. It. I mean, this missile is compared to the. It's comparable to the M AIM-7F, basically, but. <laughs> Don't tell Gaijin that. Fox. As you see, you don't need the... You don't need the... the what's they call the, the, the T variant. The radar guided one. Of course, chef doesn't work right now. Jesus, that scared me. Uh, of course, radar... Uh, uh, chef doesn't work right now properly. So, <laughs> you have that problem to think about it. Uh, but yeah, as you see, you see the 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 this lights working as well. What? Oh, it's the R3R. Jesus, that scared me. I think. I don't know if it's the R3R, but probably not. Oh, come on, he, he died. Let's use the IRST. Come on, why Americans like to go head on so much? Jesus Christ, guys. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was a bad shot. Fox 2. Splash. Let's go. Fox 4. 
no dice as the American say, said yeah but you see if you take a look on the slats they are always working pretty cool the MLD is such an amazing aircraft oh fuck almost yeah he's dead yeah pretty effective team as you see one of the last ones come on radar the RST is kinda weird uh, it's fine flares yeah he's probably going to evade the missile or not <laughs> yeah GG I think there's one more for kills for easy kills as you see the MLD is pretty amazing pretty amazing guys there you go that was bad bad shot I was too fast I mean in Mach 1.2 almost Jesus this aircraft is so fast man such a fast aircraft Yeah, I'm not aiming very well. I don't want to go mm, too close to him. Jesus. As you see, the MLD can take even the F5 pretty easily. Probably the best aircraft in game. I don't have the missiles because I wasted them. Not wasted them, but... Yeah. Oh, almost him. Almost a hit. Almost a hit. Yeah, I'm way faster than him. Look at it. I don't even want to fly this fast. It's going to make him make me overshoot. And I only have 26 shots, so I have to be certain about my shots. Critical hit, of course, F5s with this amazing UFO damage model, but yeah, lost the tail control. GG guys, GG. So, first game and already an ace. So, as you see, best aircraft in game. Such an amazing aircraft. Yeah, let's take a look at another battle and i see you guys in a bit. Uh, yeah. And as you see guys, uh, just taking a look at the, I mean, the KD, I never got such a good kill to, to death ratio. I mean, 38 kills to 127 deaths. Jesus Christ. The MLD is the best jetting game. I'm telling you guys. Such an amazing aircraft. And it's going to be one of the best aircraft for a, a little while because... I mean, even with the naval phantoms and stuff, they're not gonna be that better. I mean, that much better. Only if they get better missiles, but yeah, with the R24s and R60Ms and stuff, we can probably see that when the F14 comes and MiG-25s and MiG-29s and everything, uh, they're probably going to be the the AIM-7F, the AIM-9H, and probably in a little bit uh, the M9L uh, because of the R73 in the future so yeah a lot of missiles a lot of cool stuff coming toward Thunder in the near future as Anton said the F14 is coming uh, not as quickly as anybody wants but it's pretty good uh, I mean it's just going to be pretty good but yeah let's go another battle let's try to get another ace so yeah, we see some targets on the on the radar. 22 kilometers. We need to maintain lock for now. Wait until like 14 kilometers or something. So Fox One. Jesus, he <laughs> he actually went 
let's notch a little bit I don't know if there's uh, if he's trying to lock me up or something yeah splash one F4 F early as you see <laughs> I mean the R24 is just the m most amazing missile ever the guys that I mean it, I know it's an F4 F but it doesn't even have a <laughs> he doesn't even have a chance man Jesus it's such a f I mean I, I'm not gonna say it's OP but try to notch to not get killed Splash another one, as you see. King of BVR. Nothing as this performance in game. So, yeah. I'm trying to get everything in game right now, top tier. So, I'm trying to fly the American aircraft that I normally don't fly. Uh, British aircraft, French aircraft, everything. But the mi I mean, the mix are always my my favorite aircraft to fly. But look at this, how can you not like this performance? It's such an amazing aircraft. And we don't have even the best missiles right now. So we don't have the R60M, we don't have the... Let me check. If this is miss this missile is going to get me. Uh, yeah, no, right there. Uh, but, I mean, it's such an amazing... Oh, yeah, for the F8, I did not see him, but yeah. So as you saw, the F8 made me shut up. But <laughs> I mean, he I was saying that it doesn't have its best missiles ever. I mean, it doesn't have the R60M or the R73, and I'm glad for it because it was going to break the game. It already is breaking. So with the R24, as you see, I mean, I always get one or two kills with these missiles. Normally two, uh, but yeah, it's kind of a two kill guarantee. Fire the missile from far away, more than 10 kilometers, uh, because if you see here, I'm trying to get the ace uh, thing here, uh, but as you see, where it is, where is it? Uh, it's uh, I think it's King Vision. Yes, air-to-air -air missile launch detection range. If you see that, I mean 10 kilometers. So if you fire the missile at 14 kilometers, the target will not see the missile coming. It will not see. So fire the R24 from 20 to. I mean, it's the max range is like 20 kilometers, 20 something kilometers. But I would not advise you to shoot at that far range because only if you have a, a an altitude advantage, probably, uh, or you're flying really high, but uh, the target is also flying really high, and you're coming. Uh, and on a head-on and stuff, then you fire to 20 kilometers. But normally I fire at 15. And it's pretty alright, I mean, get kills all the time. If you're not sure about that and you, I mean, you're not getting a lot of kills, try to firing at 10 kilometers and you will end up getting kills. But I advise you guys to use at 15 because the target will not see the missile being fired. Uh, the the chevron or whatever it's called, the, the thing, the red thing that shows that the missile is burning. Uh, it will not show to the to the target that you fired the missile. So, and if the target's not paying attention to the RWR, you're going to get him. So yeah, pretty pretty good missiles. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, I hope you find it uh, useful. It's kind of a guide on how to use it. So fly high. Try to fly high with the R24. Uh, try to rush to the enemies a little bit and fire the missiles from far from far far away. If you need to fire the missiles close near you, but you, I mean, I would advise you to fire f to fire from far away because you have the R60s. Uh, a lot of people would use still the R13Ms, and if you want to, if you have, I have some friends that like the R13M ones better than the the R60s because of the burn time and the flare resistance. Uh, they're also pretty good. I, al I I always love to use the R6 because it's four of them, just because of their numbers. Uh, and there are better missiles than the R13M's ones uh, in general. It's just that some people like to use the M1s a little bit better, but you can use both of them. They're both great. Uh, the important part is, I mean, if you want to use the T's, of, four, of course, you don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem using them. Uh, they're pretty amazing, but with the, with the flare buff, just use the, the R's, man. Learn how to use them. 
see the videos, look at the videos that I, ha that I have if you have problems with the, the radar. Uh, leave it in the comments if you have any problems with it. Uh, I will uh, always help you guys. If you want to see a specific video on how to use some kind of system, just ask me. Uh, but yeah, use the R24s. They're just the best missile in game right now, uh, radar-wise. So yeah, they have almost twice the tracking rate of the Sky Flash. So don't come to me talking that the Sky Flash is better, the R24 is better. The only advantage that you have using the the Phantoms, of course, is that you can carry four of them, of course. So, yeah, as you see, you can carry four of them, and the MiGs always carry, uh, until we have like the MiG-25 and the MiG-29S for Russia, you probably won't be seeing a form, uh, radar guided missiles, so yeah, that's the problem. But I still prefer to have two confirmed kills than four, and then you miss a lot of targets, but not saying that the Sky Flash is bad, but the R-24 is just an amazing missile. Uh, but yeah, fly high, fly fast, be safe out there, and I see you guys on the next one.